Well, hello, hello there, guys. Welcome back to another playthrough of Fear and Hunger. Well, last time wasn't really a playthrough. It was more of a trial and error, see what the game was all about. But everyone was so uh, excited about this game and uh, I really liked the game. So I am going to try it again. So I made a poll for you to vote on which character I should use now that I know the game a bit better. And it turns out 50% uh, of you wanted Dark Priest. So Dark Priest it is, and I got them some great tips and tricks, so I will use that. I have a document where I put all the comments from you guys. We're just gonna go straight into it. New game. Here we go. Move the cursor. Dark Priest it is. Bearing no burden on such things as morality and ethics gives Dark Priest an edge in blood magic. However, devoting oneself to magic has left his physical body weak. Of course. We won't, uh, we won't let anyone hurt us. <laughs> We're gonna go with my awesome name like last time. Not that it's awesome, it's just... I'm bored. I, I hate doing usernames. I'm the worst at doing usernames. So it's always something, either down something that I see, like lamp hat or window pane or bird cage, you know, usernames like that. Okay, beware. If you're sensitive, don't watch. Intro is always so scary. How can you make something so simple and still and still very scary? I'm still gonna go with fear and hunger because I'm not ready for the others. I haven't gotten really far yet, so... I'm going with Fear and Hunger, an easier mode for beginners. The darkness is more merciful. Starvation is less of a threat. Yes, we want to play the intro. You were born with the soul of the enlightened. You are always seeking restlessly for new knowledge and secrets hidden from the common folk. This trait started to show itself at a very young age as you were choice... Cho as you were chosen to become a dark priest upon the birth of you and your twin sister. Typical to such occult rites, you were pitted against your sibling with ritual daggers and challenged to fight each other to the very last breath. Unfortunate for you, you were born with a fragile body and your sister easily overpowered you and had her dagger on your neck waiting for the final blow. She however showed mercy and withdrew her dagger. She stepped away from you as your high priest masters glared gleefully at the event unfolding before their very eyes. So you told me here to strike your dagger to her spine while she walks away. And that will give me necromancy. So we're gonna try that. You stroke your dagger to the spine of your sister and she collapsed to the ground. The high priest seemed especially pleased with this and prepared you for your ascension ceremony. In the ascension ceremony, you were to resurrect your deceased sister with necromancy and use her as a ghoul. Were my sister and I not that close? Like, I didn't care about her? Okay, you did this and the cold corpse of your sister brought the smile to your otherwise emotionless face. What's wrong with me? You learned necromancy. That's what's wrong with me. <laughs> After your ascension to Dark Priesthood, you were to leave the temple grounds and learn occult on your own in your dark pilgrimage. When beginning your self-status, you first had to choose the god you dedicate your time to. So you guys said that I uh, will get full affinity, max affinity with the one I chose choose here. And I chose the right one the first time because apparently it's very hard to get um, affinity with this god. Let's go for that. You traveled across the west western continent, learning about different gods, deities, blood magic and all known sciences. Your status didn't come without their merits. You were acknowledged by the top scholars of the modern times. So I got fancy, didn't I? You were finally granted a pass to the great libraries of the Kingdom of Rondon. You now had the collection of all known history and science at your grasp. You learned of a certain man who was prophetized to begin a new era for mankind. A man meant for greatness. But why would you need to share the spotlight of the gods with any mortal man? Prophecies are only for those who are weak enough to bend to their sore fates. You need to find this man and learn more. 
To her current knowledge, he would be found imprisoned at the notorious dungeons of fear and hunger. You decide to stock up for you before your travels. I don't think I can use this because I can only learn dash if I don't kill my sister. Should we go with magical items? What is that even? We'll try it. You get a soul stone? Oh, that's great to start with. I just have to learn which character to, you, to use the soul stone on. Like, which are the special characters? Save a character, yes. Here we go. Fear and anger stands before me. I'm not scared. 12 silver coins. Oi, oi, oi. Let's start off fast. Raw meat. Worm juice. Nitroglycerin powder. I have not uh, yet read about that. Blue vial. <gasps> we got it already. Yeah, I know your dogs are coming. I don't want to. Carrots and cabbage. And now we're off. Now we're off. Go inside. Oh, okay. Let's read the book here. There's a guest book on the table. Someone has written passages here. This nightmare is taking its toll on me. I'm devolving into something far lesser than the man I once was. All the high morals and ethics have no value here. The things I've done to survive. There's no place for a little miscreant like me in the warmth of the sun anymore. I'm part of these dungeons now. Part of this never-ending nightmare. Just one more cog in this machine of fear and hunger. In a way, I find it comforting. I have a definite place in this wicked world. But I'm writing this here as a warning for anyone who happens to step down to this darkness. Do leave if it's still possible. You find a small booklet under the guest book. You take the book of fears with you. Oh yeah, what's what's our fear now? Teratophobia. We can read about that now. We are also going to use a torch. Hello there. Hunger went down a little. So I don't have any matches yet. Let's loot stuff first. Ale. Red vial. Oh, that's awesome. That's corrosive. Dried mushroom. That was really good. Like, we got that on the first. Nah. It's amazing. Okay. The shelf has miscellaneous items. You find three pieces of pocket tinder boxes. They must be useful in this ever pressing darkness. That's really good. I thought I saw someone. A crude kitchen table, lots of scratch and cut marks. It's pretty tainted too. You find a bag of wheat flour. There's some maggots crawling in the flour. Mmm, yum. Awful smell comes from the, all the rotten meat on the table. Plates are covered in with maggots. It does make you wonder if someone actually eats this stuff. After all, why have them here otherwise? We'll take some. You take some rotten meat with you. It's soft and squishy, barely, <laughs> barely able to hold together. One of the maggots runs up your arm. Does that matter, though? I don't know. You search the barrel. Cabbage. Where do we get? Blueberries. Empty. Can we take this as well? Yes. Yes. And this one. Can we now raise this? There's a body that's been torn apart here. Almost looks like partly eaten. Can we use... Uh... I cannot use ne necromancy. Oh, I thought we could. Tinderbox says red herb, and there was nothing in there. Should we check now what we have? So we have wheat flour, grinded wheat used for human consumption. A wooden, it was a torch, a wooden stick with rags wrapped around it to prolong its burning. It slows down the effects of darkness when used. Tinderbox, used to light a fire. Light brings warmth and safety and keeps fear in check. That's really good. Disgusting piece of meat. Its use is questionable. Food poisoning is very likely. Yeah, but I think you're using it for the ghouls or something. A bottle of ale. The ale inside is murky. Helps you keep sane in the ever-pressing darkness. Cabbage with a few rotten leaves. Otherwise in perfect condition. That's really weird. Though. Common currency outside. They might have value in these dungeons too. Blueberries. Rather fresh fresh pile of blueberries. They're very healthy. Oh, the soul stone. The surface of the gemstone is smooth, yet it seems to be naturally formed. A raw... A raw meat, yeah. Oh, we got raw meat. A piece of raw meat. It's huge, 
junk. But you don't know if it's healthy to eat it raw. No, we have to find recipes. Lucky coin to be used in dire situations. Hold shift while you're choosing head or tails to boost your chances. Yeah, I was told to only use it on bookshelves because um, books are really important, which I already kind of figured out because I got some really good stuff from books. <laughs> a vial full of mild poison that is said to kill parasites and worms inside the host body. It's pretty good to have. A red herb with a neutral spell. Spell? Smell. White powder of nitroglycerin. Might and mixed with right elements, you can get something out of this. Okay, we need to learn explosives, probably. A dried mushroom goes without spoiling for a long period of time. Red vial. A vial full of red-colored liquid, highly corrosive, can be used to melt certain objects. That's how we get the girl out, usually. If we don't have a key. I don't know where to get the key. I think you get it from a guard or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Perfectly edible carrot. And a vial full of blue, 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 blue liquid. So we already got one healing. I have a short sword and I have a high priest robe. That's all we have for now. And we can craft torches. We don't have sticking cloth. Okay, we cannot craft torches. Did we have a book? Book of fears. The book of fears and phobias. Necrophobia, fear of death, dead and corpses. Phasmophobia, fear of ghosts and ghastly figures. Rhabdophobia, fear of magic and otherworldly powers. Eret erotophobia, fear of sex and genitals. Zoophobia, fear of animals and beasts. Teratophobia, fear of monsters and malformations. Panophobia, fear of everything. How unlucky would we be if we got panophobia? But we got fear of monsters? That that's not good either. That's really bad, actually. The door seems to be locked. We can force it, probably. I think we can force it. Oh no, I'm super weak. I'm super weak, but if we use the red vial... Oh no! How did you get me so fast? How did you get me so fast? Because of the light? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, we'll go this way then. What did it say? There's a statue depicting the new gods here. Someone has written save us here. With all blood. What are you doing? You cannot steal. Nay. Just let me run. Yes. Thank you. Why are you following me? I'm wondering. Please let me out. We cannot go back now. We can absolutely not get back now. Why did he come? Why did he come from so far? It makes no sense. Moldy bread. I I heard it. I can eat that. Like it's not bad for me actually. Dried mushroom. The room is filled with meat eating flies. Mm. Oh look, a pine cone. The torch died down. Yeah. Okay. We'll make a new one. There we go. Oh my god. This is not good for me. I don't like these creatures. Oh, I missed this. Blue herb. Green herb. Perfect. Oil? I never checked what oil does either. There we go. A vial full of oil. Flammable liquid. That for making maybe torches or something. I don't know. There's a body on the ground. Seems like a sacrificial gift for the older gods. Oh, we can use this then later. Dried mushroom. So we can use this later if we have a ghoul or anything. That can be sacrificed. Turnip and dried meat. All for food and cooking. No, no, no. I'm not going in there. He's going to trap me. I don't know where there's doors or not. But can you stop following me? These guys are super annoying. Because they're slow. But they're following you. Cabbage and dried mushroom. Can you not? We need uh, also uh, vials for that. So we can take some wine. That's what you also commented. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Every time I forget about it. I so want to go back to the castle, though. 
I don't know what the point of this is. Is it just to get extra stuff? I don't know. Raw meat. All the bread. I have to move the window a bit. This one is never openable. I wonder if it ever is, like, if you have a really strong character. Will? Does that mean we can write? Bear trap? That's new. We return to the real world. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's search for more things. Another red vial. Okay, now we can open that door that was locked. A white vial. It's starting to feel hungry. Oil. Here's this guy again. So when we... Is there any corpses I can raise? That would be awesome. Nothing yet, though. Here it is. You could use necromancy on the skeleton. Yes. Oh. Okay. Bye. Necromancy failed. <laughs> also. Counter magic, maybe. You disrupt the necromancy that was keeping the skeleton alive with your counter magic mantra. Ah. The remains of the skeleton crash on the ground as the soul leaves the skeleton being. Ah! Can we do it again? No, we're not gonna use my soul. Yes! Yes! Okay, we can do this over and over then, I feel like. Yes! Necromancy was successful. Give a name to your new skeleton. Oh no! That's so cute. Let's make it skelly. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, I know there's mixed letters, but... Skelly doesn't seem to remember anything about its past life, but it doesn't seem to care. Oh, adorable! Look, we have a friend! We can fight now. That's awesome. The torch died down. Again? Oh my god. I would love to run faster though. I would love to run faster. Uh, there's probably nothing that we need here. But I heard we can equip stuff to the skeleton. Eagle crest shield? That's kind of cool. <laughs> he gets a shield. What is that, though? A shield typically used by the Knights of the Midnight Sun. The shield has an insignia of an eagle and a sword. But what about me? What if I can use a sh Can I use a shield? Here. And then if I use a shield, I can use it. Okay, it's better if I have it. He doesn't need food. That's awesome. Oh, look at my mind. What the heck happened there? Uh, we need some alcohol. Give me some mead. What else do we have? I don't think we have a lot more. What happened to my mind? I don't remember my mind going down that fast. And hunger? Okay. But... Yeah, we need uh, alcohol. Ah, shit. Are you kidding me? Both of you. For real. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, really? I can go for his head. There we go. Okay. Not bad. Okay. The skeleton ran into this guy. What was it? Counter magic? I don't know. 
I think we're just gonna go for the head. I think that's what you said. Uh, the question mark, the exclamation mark was for, but I don't remember now. Die. Thank you. We didn't bleed or anything. Okay, good. Nay! I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I wanted the skinning. I don't have a skinning wife. A uh, skinning wife. <laughs> you know, guys, you need a skinning wife in this game. To properly skin <laughs> something. Uh, no. We don't need the rotten bodies. Oh shit, another one. Fine, just get it over with. Just get this over with. Kill him. Don't swing. Yes. Nay! I went on the one. Okay, that worked too. No, it didn't. Oh, so unnecessary. I swear to God. Um, we need to use the worm juice. And now I'm poisoned instead. And now we have to use this. Oh my god, that was a joke. Oh, I had a glass vial. Is th Do I get the glass vial if I... Uh... Okay. So we can do this over and over. If I use a vial, I actually keep... Wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. So if I use a vial, I will keep the glass vial and I can reuse it on the wine, wine barrels. That's some great stuff. Do you hear voices inside your head? Come and find me. Let the blood flow. The door seems to be locked. There's an emblem of a crow on the lock. We cannot force it, I'm not strong enough. Should we use the red vial? I have two. I think this is where we can save. I don't know. We killed everything, didn't we? We could save without any flips. Okay, let's see. The lock is not reacting to the red liquid. Oh, so I wasted... Did I waste my vial? Yep, I did. Why is that even an option? <laughs> that bothers me. <laughs> Oh my god. Body, we need to heal and eat. There we go. No problems. This is where we came from. Did we explore everything here? I don't think so. I think there's like one more of those tentacle guys here. Yeah, there he is. Moldy bread. Don't hit me. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. We have so many... What do you call it? Uh, pale skin to get after this. Dried meat. We've been everywhere here now except in this locked door. And the skeleton is with me. So we can basically go around now I think. Ah, this place. I remember. I remember this place. There's nothing down here, though. I wonder if the graves would mean anything. Can I recruit this this uh, ghoul down here somewhere? Or is the ghoul not here? Let's check this one. The coffin is wide open. There are scratch marks all on the cover of the coffin, suggesting someone or something will seal the once inside, so sealed inside once. Maybe that's the guy I have with me. Oh shit, that's a guard there. Ah, he didn't see me. I would love to save. What do we get? Dried meat. Eggs. Torch, yes, thank you. Moldy bread. Nothing left here. 
Did I ever go here? I don't remember going here. Moldy bread. Oh, I have to go this side. And six silver coins. We need the coins. I don't know if we need it for the merchant. Uh, there's a merchant, I know. Oh, shit. Okay. No, okay, this was stupid. This was absolute stupid. Okay, he didn't go here. That was lucky. How are we doing? Hunger doesn't look good. Have some meat. Perfect. I'm so scared. I don't want to. There's another ghoul somewhere. Oh, where the girl is. Pine cone. Now we just need a recipe for the pine cone. Uh, what do you call it? Pig? Is it a pig? I don't remember. Oh, sh here we go. Red herb. Blue herb. This guy. There remains a bizarre creature left here. The blood is still wet. Oh, I cannot use uh, necromancy on him. That sucks. Torch. A worm juice. We needed a torch. That was good. Ale. Iron spear. Can we give that to Skelly? Really? Nah. Why? A standard military spear requires two hands to use. So we cannot give that to the skeleton. Oh. That sucks. Heavy knight. Hold it. Just hold it right there. You are sane, I gather. Even if I may seem winded and wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow or two. So don't get any ideas. Who are you? I'm Sir Seymour, a knight from the Grand Kingdom of Rondon. I serve my country to the last breath. Just know that. Okay, I get it. <laughs> the table has some old weapons laying around. Uh, heads. Nah. Why would you? Doesn't matter. How can you give me three tails in a row? Oh. Hmm. This game knows how to piss you off. Like, I'm not pissed off by the enemies. I'm pissed off by the, the coins. Uh-oh. He almost saw me. Is there someone gonna be here? Nah, I don't remember. Okay, good, good. Explosive vial! Yes, we need that. Torch, another one. Good, good, good. No, we don't need it. We're not done, but we can go to the... We can go to the... Other side here. Oops, there's no... No, no guard. Please, no guard. Oh, thank God, no guard. And now we can meet Tur 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 and Buckman. Find a water vial. Small key. Why did we need a small key? Oh, we're here. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like this place. I'm not going down there. I have to check if we can get there some other. Oh. Oh, I can unlock it. So I basically don't need Trotur if I go this way. That's amazing. Ah, that is really great. Miscellaneous torturing items. You cannot comprehend the function of most of them. Take skinning knife with you. Good. Now we can skin um, the manibas. This table is used for torture. The blood is still wet here. Uh -huh. So I cannot... Uh, I want more tools. Dried meat. That's really welcome. Thank you. Oh, he will come already. Someone or something is walking towards this room. Uh, okay, we're gonna ambush it. It's Trotur! Trotur! A wretched looking person walks out of the shadows. You attack him straight away. But what? Who in the lowest hell are you? So we need to go for this first. There we go, because it's not that strong. Oh, you missed skeleton. Go for the torso. 
Perfect. We were victorious. Good enough. Search him. We get the key that we don't need anymore, I think. Okay, we don't want to sneak in here. Let's talk to Buckman. There he is. Ah! No, wait. You're a sane one, right? Right? Yeah, of course. I'd be dead otherwise now. Don't stay on the doorway. You'll give us out if someone sees you. Oh, who are you? M my name doesn't matter in this very moment. I've been lost in these dungeons for what feels like a lifetime. My sense of time has become blurry. It might be years, months, or I fear even just weeks. I just cannot handle it any longer. I, I feel my mind giving up already. I just can't. I don't know what business you got here, but if I were you, I'd run out as fast as possible. If escaping the place is even possible anymore, that is. No, we're coming with you. You've managed to get rid of that wretched torturer? Absolutely magnificent. But the dangers of this dungeon don't end here. What are you doing here? Ah, well, it's complicated. Let us trade words later in a more secure environment. Okay, what else? Do you want to travel together? Ah, you're heading towards the darkness. I apologize, but not this time. I'll catch my breath here for a while. So we could technically sleep here, but that means if we lose the torn coast, the guard is gonna come and we're probably gonna lose. So we'll get hit and we'll get hurt and boy. I have another glass vial. Do I still have wine? I do have wine as well. I'm hungry again. How fast do I get hungry? That was good hunger. I get so hungry fast in this game. What do we get? Another skinning knife. I would need a butcher knife. That's good to have, I think. <laughs> a device used for torture. You could step inside, but you decide not to. I have free will in this game. There's the bone saw. Okay, I get it from the floor as well. Good to know. Should we light a scone here? Maybe, I don't know. Yes, we can light a candle. So I guess we walked around. And... Uh, oh, we're here now. But they're not gonna attack me. If I, unless I talk to them. Two carrots. That means that the courtyard is right outside. Oh, look at that. I was right. And look at the pine cones. <laughs> what do we get? Wheat flour, blueberries. We can use counter magic. Awesome. Now we can learn some skills, I think. Mm hmm. Counter magic was indeed successful. There's a nothing there. There's a book. There's something written here. The Hexen creates a connection to the gods, both new and the old. To get closer to the older gods, you must work your way up and gain their affinity. With each circle, you get closer to them. The new gods only pass on their knowledge to those who share the same birth sign and soul with them. I would love to do... Because someone told me Sylvian is healing. So that would be awesome to have. The Hexen table stands here, obviously. I'm gonna use it. What, what can I do? Necromancy I have. Okay, I would like to do dash, but I can't. So the only thing I can do at the moment is here. I can learn mastery over <laughs> mastery over insects already. Flock of crows, locust swarm. I don't know if that's good or not. Should I learn it? Should I? Sa I should save my soul stone, right? Oh, greater blood magic. Should I save it, or what should I do? I feel like I should save it, but I also feel like greater blood magic is nice. I don't know. Can we curse my equipment? Let's see if we, what happens if I curse it. 
Which weapon do you want to curse? Oh! Okay, so if I curse a weapon, it actually costs me a lesser soul stone. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Can I cancel? Never mind. Ooh, I tried to, like, click out with the round button, but it didn't work, so I panicked a little. <laughs> I thought I would, know, I would have to choose now. Not talk to the bug. Was there anything else? I think there was, like, a... Um, um, yeah, here we go. There are tons of books here somewhere as well. Green herb and a blue herb. We're gonna check this castle because I think I can kill them pretty easily. These priests are not that hard. Um, let's do that. They will create an idol out of our fears. Okay, let's do this. Then. Take the. We can take the lantern first. Bye. Okay, thank you. What? Miss. Thank you. Skeleton is awesome. Wow, 418. Search. Purifying talisman and the cloth fragment from the remains of the robe. Awesome, now we can make a torch. We kill the dark priest. Search. Priest's lantern. <gasps> and a soul stone. No way. There's a person nailed on the statue. The blood is dripping down to the pool at where the statue stands. Do it. Sacrifice him. Sorry, boot buddy. Okay, we did it. I don't know what that does. But we got some stuff. Oh. Didn't we get anything? Okay, then what did we get the lantern for? A rusty worn out key, that one we got. There it is. A lantern from a dark priest. You can toss it at your enemies for a small fire attack. That's so cute. And we didn't get the robe, but we got the st soul stone. So we can get another soul stone. Or another soul. Lesser soul. Did I loot this already? Yes, I did. We haven't saved yet. Let's take some cloths here. You could tear the flag for cloth, for cloth fragments. Yes, we will. Flag of the Kingdom of Rondon is hanging on the wall. Take more cloth fragments. Oh, the toilet. I never know what's in here either. I haven't gone down here. Look, you see nothing but darkness. What did it say? There's a bloody toilet hole. hole. You could fit through the hole. <laughs> no, I'm not going in there. Do you know what's going to happen if I go in there? Let me know. You see nothing but darkness. The smell is awful, however. The smell is a mixture of death, bl blood, feces, and semen. They did everything they could in there, huh? We need to do more torch. Someone's gonna be in here. I'm pretty certain. Yep. How do we go around him though? How do we lure him out of there? I need to go in there. There's tons of stuff that I want from there. Uh oh. You hear a crack under your feet? Oh my god, please be on my side today. Oh! <gasps> Your ankle feels hurt a little from the fall. Okay. Not horrible. Torch, thank you. Okay. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We're just somewhere else. <laughs> Nitroglycerin powder, thank you. Blue vial, that's also good. Healing. I just don't remember where this is. Carrots? Eel. Good to have. Oh. Oh! We kind of wanted to go here then. I shouldn't have unlocked it. Damn it. Because now I can't sleep here. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. Am I the biggest idiot? Mm. Or maybe they can open doors. I don't know. So I fell down here. I haven't been here. I can clear this though. The hallway has collapsed here. Makes you wonder how the rest of this old fortress holds up. You could use explosive vial here. Do it. Chest. Okay, let's see. A sturdy chest. It doesn't seem to be locked. 
heads. I haven't had heads in a really long time. Okay, finally. You find a sorcerer's stool. Sorcerer's stone? A magical ring worn once by the Great Bethel. The ring restores mind during encounters. Yes. Uh, why not? <laughs> that was a pretty good one. I haven't been so lucky yet. I just want to save as well, though. Salami. Blue vial. Wow, we have two heals now? This is going pretty okay. I have some misfortunate events happen, but overall, we're doing fine. Now we just have to go out here. Oh, this... Oh, wow. Why? Can we go here? The basement. Nah. What was it that I needed here? I haven't explored everything here, have I? Nah. Okay. Yes, we light the bonfire. We should not sleep because not everything is dead in here. That's for sure. Blueberries. It's not safe for sleeping. But I would like to save. A quill. Another one. Turnip. Moldy bread. And rotten meat very much i think i've been here yeah where was the girl though See him is that the enemy there yeah he's right there i kind of want to go back though to where i was where were we <laughs> we have to go through the prisons again okay we can do this counter magic right Crazed prisoner is trying to grasp at you to disrupt the necromancy that was keeping the ghoul alive with your counter magic mantra. Arrgh! The ghoul falls limp on the floor ground without its soul. Are we were victorious? <laughs> yes? No. Necromancy. Oh. Okay. Bye. Okay, it's gonna fail. But nothing happens then, right? gonna work you know does it take a toll on my uh, mind okay that it does it does it does it does but we have a wine thingy right okay let's try it again yes it cannot be three in a row it's oh my god the coin toss the coin toss is pissing me off with this game I'm telling you I have an ale. I have two ales. There we go. We're doing it. I'm not kidding. No. Yes. We're going for heads. There we go. Finally. Necromancy was successful. Give a name. Ghouly. Telling you, I suck at user at, at names. Ghouly doesn't seem to remember his past life and seems to be confused about life. Shamelessly scratches his coin area. Please don't leave me. Leave us alone. Okay, now we have. I have two people in my party. I feel powerful. Good. Now we're doing fine, actually. This is not that bad, guys. So far. As long as I don't get an arm cut, cut off or something, we're we're kind of fine. We fell down. Ah, I remember now. Should we take on the guard now that we're so many? It's there. I don't want to. I want to save first and then we could take him on. But he's probably going to come over. Yeah, here's where we fell down. Oh my god, torch. Yes, thank you. Blue herb. What's in the bucket? Nothing. We're not falling down there anymore. I don't know. I don't think it's safe to be here. It's in the box, sure. Our mind goes down fast, guys. Really fast. Oh, no. It's because I... I remember. I used the necromancy. I'm glad I don't have to think... Oh, the ghoulie needs to eat? <laughs> I didn't know. Ooh, what's this? Human hydra. I'm a hungry. Bring us food, human. 
rip one head off. <laughs> Oi, should I? What do you eat? Humans, of course. Bring us sacrifices. I don't have any humans. Should we rip a head off? What happens if I rip the head off? Nah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna anger anyone. We, our torch left me thinking I was gonna say. <laughs> we need the torch again. Oh, books. Perfect. Blood and flower magic one? I never heard about that book. Dusty old books fill the bookshelf. Some of them seem partly rotten and moldy. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. Scroll of pop poke clicking. <laughs> I know how to poke click now. Mm. <laughs> Lock picking. Nay, nice, guys. Are you kidding? Flow Blood and flower magic one. A book about the teachings of the great wizard of eastern sanctuaries. Should I read it? I'm too scared to use it if something bad will happen. Scroll of lockpicking. Learn the secrets of the art of lockpicking. I did it. I know lockpicking now. Let's read this. Book about the teachings of great wizard of eastern sanctuaries. Okay. In this book, I reminisce my time at the eastern sanctuaries with my late master Nasra the Great. You see, I was given the honor of being an apprentice to the great wizard. My time with him was brief and I only managed to scratch the surface of the immense knowledge that he possessed. In this book, I will list out the secrets and spells he spoke of, on how to acquire the knowledge behind these blood magics and flower magics. You have to seek that information elsewhere. Aha, on how to acquire it. Okay, you have to seek that. These would be his words. I know the first secret of Grogoroth. If I see hanging from a tree a dead man's corpse, I wish upon his soul and bind it back to their umbilical cord. And then that corpse will walk and speak again with me. Um, that I don't understand. I know of the first secret of Sylvian. If I sprinkle my seed inside the womb of a freshly deceased, the life that is left lingering in that corpse will sprout a sun in my name. A sun that will a life of violence. Does that mean I have to sleep with uh, a ghoul? <laughs> I don't know. I know of the second secret of Grogoroth. The minuscule world I have always felt curiosity for becomes understandable to me. I'm finally able to converse with the insects around me and have them reveal their deepest secrets. Okay, that's master of insects. I know the second secret of Sylvian. I no longer have to fear for separation from my loved ones, for we can forever join in a marriage of flesh, an act of love that creates a beautiful unison for two souls. But that's anyone, right? Even ghouls. I know the third secret of Grogoroth. For all the wrong that have, they have done to me, I can barely point my finger and leash leash out the violence at them in their desperate cry of remorse. No, the third secret of Sylvian. As human beings are simple creatures guided by their feelings and lust, I can easily control their affections in the most primal of ways. Can I use one per a ghoul for like several sacrifices? Like if I show love to one, can I like sacrifice him at another one or show love again at another one? I don't know. Someone has written notes here on an empty scroll. Oh Lord, teach hurting. Oh, is that what we can write in an empty scroll? Oh Lord, teach hurting. That must be what we can write on an empty scroll, right? Search the bookshelf for anything useful. Pinecone pig instructions. There we go. Craft armor. Do it. There we go. So now we can equip it. Okay. Apparently we didn't want it. Nothing left here. Can we equip anything to this guy? No. Nah. So we have nothing for them. We search the bookshelf. The Penance Knights. I don't know what that is. Creation of life. Wow. We get so much stuff here. The book itself doesn't seem interesting in the slightest, but there are some separate pages left here as well. If 
find book pages one. This is a mock-up bookshelf. None of the books are real. Oh, wait. This is where we want, we need the mock-up book where we find, oh, where do we find that? Oh my God. You find an empty scroll? Can we write these now? We need to write this down, right? We need to write this down. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I'm gonna write it down. Because I guess uh, this is not the only one. I have to find more, right? What other books did we get? A book containing a recipe for advanced alchemy. Yes, thank you. Nostramus, 13th of the 5th moon of 1109. The prolonged studies with the black growth hormone finally produces some results. The black liquid has proven to be very potent in my previous research, but this new discovery is unlike anything I expected. A mixture with human blood has created a new artificial life form. The results are a tiny fetus with human features. It is breathing lightly and seems to be in constant agony. Mmm, nice. Nostramus, first of the half, half moon of 1109. The life form is ever so hungry, but no matter how much nourishment I feed it, there is no visible growth. Growth. I'm doing experiments with different sources of food, but nothing seems to work. Except this miserable being is destined to forever remain in this state of constant agony. Nostramus, 30th of the half moon of 1109. The appetite is nothing short of astonishing, but it produces no effect in its own in its growth. In its growth, okay. Nostramus second of the sixth moon of 1109. I killed a child. I had no, it had no purpose in this world. I'm questioning whether we, as humans, were ever meant to create artificial life. I must once again study the teachings of the older gods to attain such miracles. What did that give us? What can we craft? Oh. We need blood vial and a black vial. I think we I know where we get the black vial. I don't remember did we get a blood vial? Did I scoop some up? Oh, it was from the it was from the was that from the sacrifice we did in the altar? The guy that was hanging. Okay. That book page is one. It's an item, okay, so I can't use it. The Penance Knights. A book about the Penance Knights of Vatican City. Should we go? Should we read it? I don't know what's gonna happen if we read it. Okay, well, let's do it. The Penance Knights are a special unit of the Vatican City that wear tailor made armors. The Penance Knights are used in the most perilous, perilous tasks and missions where the chances of survival are especially low. Thus, the armor has been designed only to be put on. There is no removing it once one is chosen for the mission. The armor has rows of small spikes that drill into the skin of its wearer. The pain is meant to cleanse the mind for the task at hand and also heighten the fury in the midst of combat. Oh, that's horrible. Because of the nature of the penance knights and the penance armor, only convicts with life and death sentences are recruited to the unit. The recruits are given one last chance to repent their crimes and atone their sins before the Ascended One, Almer, passes on the final judgment. That's pretty horrific. <laughs> Do we beg? We're not praying to that God, are we? There's more books there. Oh, it's the guy that we need to... Oh, do we need to kill him or can I outrun him? Oh, here's the blood. Okay, we can get blood here. I didn't know it was so close. No. Where could we get it? I don't remember. We need more vi wine though. Yeah, I need to find more uh, alcohol. We should go back. But these guys can't be done anything to. Like, I can't do anything to this. Nah. So from the book, I don't understand. Like, is am I doing something? Do I need an item for these? As the book said, I mean. I don't remember. Mm. War sky. <laughs> that was new. Okay, cannot use it. Cannot use it. He can use the pine cone pig. I guess you can have it for now. But why, I don't know. 
Jeez, no, we need we need alcohol. So bad. Torch. Oh, thank God. Thank you. There we go. Okay, you're a bit hungry, but that's fine. You eat probably eat shit. <laughs> you eat rotten meat. <laughs> no, we're not gonna use. Okay, we can wait a little. We're not that hungry. Ooh. Yes. Here we can sacrifice or make love. Sacrificial circle for the older gods. To appease gods or gain favors from them, this is the place to offer your gratitude. Grogoroth, the destroyer of men, yearns for human sacrifices. Sylvia and the guard of fertility and love, which is nothing more than an act of love in her name. Should we do the love? Nah, I mean, I'll wait till I have saved. Here's the girl. Okay. Book of fears, I already have that. Should we get the little girl? We can use lockpicking. We didn't have to use the... That's awesome. We didn't have to use the red vial. Then we can use it on other things. We need the cloth fragments. Thank you. There's a map showing distribution of army units on the table. You find captain's orders among the other documents and papers. Also find four tinder boxes. That's it. Oh, here's the black thingy. Scoop it in glass vial. You carefully scoop some of the black matter into your glass vial. Black liquid obtained. Yay! Do I have another torch made? Nay. There we go. Oh! The hallway has collapsed here. Makes you wonder how the rest of the whole fortress holds up. I don't have explosives. Now we need a blood vial. And alcohol. We haven't been in here. Oh! Now we got the book. Okay, we can go back then. Search? Oh no. Okay. Just because it's always tails. Now it's not gonna be. How did I know? How did I know? You know what? We're gonna wait till we get a coin. Someone's written note here, notes here. Death is the answer. Oh! Is that also death? Maybe death is one of the words for the empty scroll. What do you think, guys? Or am I completely out cycling? Oh, here's another one. I think. No? Oh, we never went here. Because we got hunted. <laughs> We're pretty hungry now. There we go. Oh, the ghoul is pretty hungry as well. Can we do rotten meat for him? Oh, now he's got... Maybe it wasn't that good. I don't know. I thought I could do rotten meat on him. So we've been here. And we got chased. Oh, I got a torch? No, I wasn't here. And a pipe. Now I can smoke crack. Oh, yeah, we never went here. There we go. Dried meat. Opium powder. Yes, yes, yes. Throwing knife. Blue liquid. And a glass smile. Perfect. We need that. Something gonna be here. Okay, no. No, we were already here, but we didn't go here. Okay. And light this. We need the wine. You stepped on a rusty nail. Excuse me. We need to heal that infection. Where was the infection? What was good against the infection? A vial full of water. The water looks and smells like drinkable. I don't know why we need that. Green herb for inf infections. We need that then. I'm not gonna cut off my leg. Mm, okay, let's use this then. Okay, that worked. Perfect. Oh my god. Is that because of the... Wow. Because of the plank was there. That was stupid. That was so stupid. Okay, I guess we're continuing over there then. Oh, the mock-up. Yeah, we can do the mock-up now. Okay, never mind. We'll do this. It has to be tails now. It has to be tails now. Yes. 
control of marksmanship. Marksmanship. How much do we learn? Learn the secrets of marksmanship and archery, the unique talents of the Eastern Mongol arms. Okay. Give me. I don't know. I can't probably do anything with that, but you know. We still have another torch. I get one torch every time. Nay. We need to uh, we need to find explosives or kind of make explosives somehow. Go back here. I have soul stones. How many soul stones did I have though? Lesser soul, I have one. And then I have another soul stone that I haven't used yet. Collection of book pages, they're illegible without the full context. They do mention artificial life. Is this for maybe for maybe for necromancy? Of some sort. Where do I get blood? I'm completely sure that I got blood somehow, but I don't remember. Oh, here's the mock-up book. Okay. Yes, use the mock-up book. I don't remember where this leads though. Oh, another courtyard. Does the mist carry tiny spores in it? That doesn't sound good. Another hang body. Green herb, thank you. Hold it! What? <gasps> the Outlander? I see. Seems like you still retain your sanity. In a way, it's reassuring to see that I'm not completely alone here. Tell me, are you evil? No. Hmm. Only time will tell. You'd be surprised at you, what you truly are capable of once you stay long enough here. But your presence here just means these dungeons will claim one more victim. And the evil residing here will grow that much stronger. If I were you, I'd try to escape these ancient walls by any means necessary. For your sake, I hope our paths don't cross again here. Why? Can't we talk about it? <laughs> you find a stick? If I talk to him again? Stay cautious in the dungeons. The evil in this place is of pure kind. It's not here just to torment us. It's not here to spread its roots into the surrounding world. Even if the dungeon's vile traps and decrepit monster would lead you to believe otherwise. Its interests are already past this world and this place is a mere relic from its long history. I had no idea we would run into the outlander here. You seem familiar with this evil. Yeah, yes. Yeah. What's his name? Where he's from? My kind, the north and people of Oldegord. Ah, north. Ah, okay. We found the dark continent of Vinland from the far reaches of the west. The moment you lay your eyes on the crooked mountains and the twisted forests of those lands, you feel the presence of a greater evil. I forget that the character has the same story as when you play you. Oldegord. It's that same evil that resides here. Who are you? Rangvalder. That's his name? That's adorable. You can call me Rang Rangvalder. I'm from north. I'm from the north, from the kingdom of Oldegord. Uh, can you tell me more about the Oldegord? Yeah, I would love to. Oldegord is the kingdom of all the warrior tribes of the north. Oldengord breeds the finest, the strongest and the bravest men and women made known in this age. We also have a long history in sailing and as traveling mer merchants. Uh, did we ask? Nay, we asked who are you? Okay, why are you here? I'm here to find a relic that a certain person took from my people. This man is in prison somewhere deep down below. So we're all looking for the same person. Maybe it's safer together? No doubt it would be for you. <laughs> but for the time being, I won't be traveling with you. Okay. So I think maybe it's because my party is full or he just truly doesn't want to par party with me right now. <laughs> he doesn't want to party with me. Simple little dagger is laying on the ground. It reminds you of your childhood when your father used to teach you sw swordsmanship with a similar dagger. It might be a suitable weapon for children, but for adults it's too small. You could give it to the girl. Yes. Here you go, girl. You give it to the girl and she seems surprised to get a gift such as this dagger. Seems like she's not used to kindness of any kind. 
In any case, the girl seems excited about the dagger. Girl got a dagger! <laughs> Finally, she has a weapon. What is it? I was nice. Can you come with me now? <laughs> Please. Oh, there's a guy over there. Rotten meat. Torch. Cabbage. Blue herb. And a turnip. Good, we got some food. The hallway has collapsed here. Makes you wonder how the rest of this old fortress holds up. Oh, so we can do that something there as well. So let's see. I'm hungry, you say. Let's eat some dried meat. Perfect. The girl is a bit hungry as well. Here, girl. Get the good food. Oh, you're very hungry, Ghoulie. Since you're already hurting. Fine, have some more. There we go. Yeah, otherwise, we're fine when we're outside here. What's the statue? An ancient statue stands here. Do you want to pray? Oh, who do we go with? Who's the statue a depiction of? I don't want to pray if I don't know who I'm praying to here. Like, who's the special... Can we talk to you? Thin creature. Leave me be, please. I'm turning into a butterfly. <laughs> I'm going to be a pretty butterfly. <gasps> I did not mean to do that. Ah, just let me be. I'm turning into a butterfly. The pinecone pig brought you some nitroglycerin powder. I didn't mean to. I'm running. No, I'm running. I'm sorry. Listen, listen. I'm not asking much. Just let me turn into a butterfly. Oh, shit. I didn't mean, didn't mean to hurt. I didn't mean. I clicked too fast. I was just trying to skip the dialogue. Okay, where do we go from here, though? I still haven't saved it. This is amazing. How did I get this far without dying, I'm wondering? Because I haven't fought anything. What is up here, though? don't like it. A stick? What is this gate? You find a stick. Naked bunny mask. Welcome to the meadows of traveler. Naked bunny mask. Let us ease your suffering. The first one is free. What does that mean? Oh, there's a pine cone here. <laughs> it's probably a genital of some sort. Are you looking for a partner? Am I? Sure. Just take off your clothes and put on this mask. You lose track of time, but are able to snap out of it. With the act, your affinity with, Sil with the Sylvian is growing. And I had uh, intercourse, sexual intercourse with a pinecone. Okay. Are you looking for a partner? No. We already did it once. I don't think we can do it twice. Okay, so that was good. Luckily I have a, a mod that uh, doesn't show anything. So YouTube, we're safe. That was it. What else do I do here? How do I... Uh, hop? We just went here to hump a little and then... Uh, we have to open this path, I think. Yeah, we need to find something. Otherwise, we have to go down all the way. Okay. We we have to go in here now. Oh, I haven't saved, but you know what? Let's do it. Let's go inside. Did I tear both of them? Yeah. Judging from the contents on this table, this room is the office of the captain of these dungeons. You find Captain's Diary 1 and a small key falls from the inside the diary. Good, he didn't see us. Captain's Orders. Did we read this? On the subject discussed early in an elastic change, we no longer have need for those captivates. What, what you do with those poor bastards is none of my concern. If you, go do, if you do go with your wicked plans, Please make sure you leave no one talking about the studies performed. No witnesses, so to speak. 
Cruelty is not unheard in this time, in times of war. I'm sure you, if anyone, should know this. But some things exceed the limits any human should ever experience. We do not want war going around. Take no insult in my words, but for my own sake too, I hope I never hear from you again. Captain Rudimer. That's for Trurtur, I think that was. Captain's Diary. Captain Rudimer, 16th of January, 1590. Trurtur once again went too far with his wicked methods. The prisoner was but a child, but already he had to go through so much torture that he shit himself more than he bled. I must say, I'm afraid of torture, torture to a certain degree. Sometimes I think I, sh I would do this world justice if I just offed him with my blade. Very few know, but Trotur used to be a famed holy knight of Ronden back in the day. He was able to achieve great fame at a very young age, but during our holy and campaign against eastern territories, he was captured. Everyone presumed he him as dead. He died as a war hero. He should have died as a war hero. But five years later, when we occupied the eastern capital Itaya, we also found what was left of Trotur. He was but a shadow of his former self, a disfigured hunchback man with barely any resemblance to the great hero so many adored. I'm sure during those five years he went through every method of torture he now puts to use himself. Just to honor the memory of Trotur the White, I let this monster live today, although I see great contradiction in my words here. <laughs> Uh oh. We're gonna escape and then we're just gonna keep running around. Oh, I didn't see what he brought. Oh! Wait a minute. Can we just hit his head? We're gonna use a skill. Nah, okay. Should we try it? If we all go for his head. Oh! Wait! Wait, he can attack without a head? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That was awesome. Okay. We won. That's the first time I killed a guard. There is a random diary on the floor. I curse the older gods. My wife has died because of their plague. My child has died because of their sins. Next will be me. And I will die because of this macabre hellhole they built. Uh... Okay, you could use soul stone here. Okay. The soul stone changed its appearance. The stone is radiating a faint blue light. The monstrosity is down. Meat pie and a moldy bread. Perfect. Skin him. To guard skin. I didn't know we could have guard skin. Uh, oh shit. Okay, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Torch. Yeah, fuck. Oh, another one. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, we got some things. And we killed a guard for the first time in my life. I don't know where to go from here. We have to probably go back down now to the prison cells or something. No, we have to go back to Buckman and his friend, but we have to go there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's go to the prisons. Oh, we can sleep here now. We can absolutely sleep here now. Let's do it. We tear the blanket first and then we can sleep here. Save and rest. Please let me rest. Guys! We did it. We have saved. The first save after one... How many hours? I don't know. One and a half almost. According to my playtime. By my recording time, I don't know. Okay, so now we have to go down to the prisoner cell and avoid the... Now it's fine, I'm fine again. We can die as many times as we want. I'm gonna go down here. We should have sacrificed something in the... Oh, I forgot about that, but okay. I don't know where to go first though. We can do this, but... <laughs> Uh, we need to talk with these, but I didn't think we need the yellow muck first. Uh, can I do the counter magic? Let's try it. That didn't work. Ah. 
What is that blue thingy though? I don't know. I don't know how much health they have. Miss. Don't need the girl. There we go. I have to find weapons for all of them. I can't believe I haven't found any weapons yet. We did it. No looting? Why can't I loot? He's ill. No. How can she be ill from hunger? She's not that hungry. The ghoulie, however. He's already sick. <laughs> we can save here again because we killed some enemies, I think. Uh oh. Another one? Okay, we can kill this one as well. Dirt? Thank you very much. Miss, damn it. Oh, miss again. Okay, that's fine. They don't hit that hard. Oh, I'm bleeding now and I'm affected. Eat something, yes, thank you. They're not that fu fun to uh, to fight, actually. There we go, die. Yes. Okay, we have to heal a little here. I need to stop the bleeding. We need to stop the infection with uh, some green herbs for me and a green herb for you. And you need to eat something, I see. So far, so good, right? Okay, we're lockpicking. We can save. Oh, that's where we found the blood. Yes! We got the blood vial. We can create something. We can create this. Fetus. Why did I create a fetus? I'm kind of disturbed right now. <laughs> what is this? What does the fetus do? Living and breathing fetus seems to be in pain. Mm hmm. You guys tell me what to do with that, okay? Thank you very much. Do we need another one? We can leave it for now. Wait! Maybe enemies want it. Maybe we can give it to an enemy. If we talk to the enemies. Oh, okay. This is where we came from. So we're done here. We could save here now because we killed everything. But we're gonna continue. I haven't been here ever. Oh shit. Let's do his head again. Or can we give him a fetus? I don't know. Get his arm. I missed his head. Thank you. Oh, he attacked his pine cone. I missed. I can't believe it. Oh my god. They all miss. Oh, I didn't do my attack yet. The guard loses its balance with the slicks cut out. Oh, okay. Now we do the heads. The guard charges, but you manage evading its grasp. Okay, now we can do the head. Then why do I have a... I don't know the question mark on my character. Right, question mark. Exclamation mark. We did it. Oh, wait! I have a... Oh, I see now. I have accessory that makes me regain mind during a fight. Oh, my God. Guys, I... I oh, yeah, I didn't mean to. 
Um, okay, you find a severed arm, leg, and skeletal arm. That's really good to have, I think. You took guard skin. Okay, so that blue thing is actually good. Yes, we can save again. What's this? Something shining here. You find a lucky coin. <laughs> we could technically save here again. Yes. I love the lock picking. This is awesome. Oh, hello there, little guy. I see something here. A simple crude doll depicting a long haired man is laying on the ground. The doll gives you chills and an eerie vibe can be felt from it. You could give it to the girl. Okay, give it to the girl. You give it to the girl and seems to love it. You can immediately see her eyes widening, <laughs> widening in excitement. The girl pets the crude hair and of the doll gently. Girl got the peculiar doll. That's adorable. Hello there, mister. My, oh, this is the mercenary. I can't believe you're meeting all of these people. Oh, hey. You got me out of here. I'm Kahara of the South, a mercenary at your service. What are you doing here? Well, I do have a mission here, but let's save that story for another. Let's save that story for another day, yeah. Um, I feel I'm feeling kind of weak after being left here for ages. Would you mind if we travel together for a while? Good idea. Great. Uh, except there doesn't seem to be room in your party. Well, I can guess I can manage on my own too. No worries. Don't let the dungeon have its way with you. Bye. No. No, where will I meet him? I can go and sacrifice one of my one of my members. No problem, you know. And just make him starve. Oh shit. Okay, wait, should we save again? Nay, hey, wait, we have to check first. There might be someone still walking around. You never know. Do I not uh no I do not. Oh, we can. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Guys, this is not as bad as I thought. I thought we were gonna be worse. Oh, that's a guard there. But we can take him on, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> of course. Obviously. Uh-oh. We're going for his arms. His arms needs to go. Please. Nay! What are you... Okay. Yes, there's always something. Oh, oh. Oh! Did he die because his head? Loincloth and two iron iris. What? How did he die? Oh, weapon. Okay, wait a minute. loincloth <laughs> he can still not have a weapon like no weapons whatsoever excuse me she liked the dagger I'm gonna just see if I can use the skeletal arm no okay then sure the girl can have the skeletal arm if that's better Unless she's really fond of the... Fond of the... What do you call it? The dagger. I don't think so, though. Let's see what's in here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Soul stone! Guys, this is... Can I use this? I cannot use this. Ah, sucks. Anywho... We did it. I think we can sleep here now. Rotten meat. Tinder boxes. Wow, so many. Eyeglasses. Thank you. Dried meat. What is this? Forest door? I think we can. Maybe if we all do it together. <laughs> I don't think so. It's not gonna work. No, nah. nah. and I can't not I can't use lock picking either. Uh oh, do I am I, okay? I am using a torch. I thought it wasn't. I hear something. I think bear trap. I haven't used one yet. 
Looks like a plank with a rusty nail there. Uh oh. Uh oh, I see the guard. Uh, can we still save or are we not? Like, does it, everyone at the whole level needs to be dead? Tobacco? Uh oh. I think we're fine though. Uh, let's. I'm gonna go for the stinger. And, oh no, I'm gonna go for the arm. The girl can go for the stinger and then the other. Just do what they want, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Could not have gone better. Take the legs out. Tackle me, the little, the little shit. Uh oh. Yes, okay. Okay. Yes. Good job, good job. Now we need to... Okay, my ghoul is gonna die anytime soon. That is fine. I don't know if I could just necromance him again, but... Uh, we need to heal you, little girl. Heal myself a little. And then... I don't know. Dried meat? How much is dried meat? I want her to go down to half and then we can see what she needs. Otherwise, we're pretty good. The ghoul is gonna die any second. No. Search him. Meat, pie, and moldy bread. Sell keys floor three? That's probably for the door over there. Skin him. Pixie. Take his skin. No. No. I wanted to read the book. Is this fucked now? Because... Nay. I cannot read a book, guys. A couple of books laying on the table. Nay. Find nothing, of course. There's something there on the table, though. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, sure. Nay. That bothers me a lot. Dried meat. Salami. I forget I have salami. Small key again? For what? Empty bucket. Bone saw. Okay. Moldy bread. Two eggs. That's a lot of cooking stuff. A lot of bone saw. Should we go sacrifice the... Maybe we should sacrifice the ghoul. Oi. I don't know. We should probably save first, right? Take the cloth. Save and rest. Yes! You guys! I should stop here though, because I play for a really long time. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. I think it's going pretty well. Uh, give me some more tips. I know I, I I read all of your comments. I think I forgot half of them. Uh, but from now, what you're seeing, what I'm doing, like should I do show love or should I do sacrifice someone? I don't know. Let me know what you what you think is best. Let me know what you think about this gameplay and I love to hear your comments and opinions about everything. It's so interesting to read. So thank you so much. And thank you to everyone who's been subscribing and liking this game. I'm so overwhelmed. I really enjoy it. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it so much. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.